Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And welcome to my messy workbench. Today, we're gonna to do something a little different. I know I say it every time, but I have my wife's mid-2011 MacBook Air, uh, nine years old. And I have never touched it except to clean it or put uh, software updates on it. But the battery has been giving us a little issue. It's been popping up a little error message up here. And uh, here it is right here. I'm gonna show you a picture of it. So with that being said, it's a service battery. It's nine years old, but it still runs great. Core i5, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD, gig SSD. So I ordered a new battery for it, and it's internal, so you have to take the laptop apart. Uh, but it's pretty simple to do. It just takes some time and uh, a little patience. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. And uh, when we get done, it'll, it'll be a nine-year-old new laptop. So anyway, y'all stay with us. All right, let's talk about the tools we're gonna to need today. So first off, we need, do need the MacBook Air, mid 2011. Let's talk about it for just a second. It's a Core i5, 1.7 gigahertz. It's a quad core processor. Uh, it's got eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD. In 2011, this was a pretty nice machine and, and honestly still is. Uh, the screen's not a high resolution screen, but it weighs a little less than three pounds. Um, I have not touched this except to put software updates on it in nine years. So, and the only reason we're working on it today is because of the battery. So, uh, so we've got 10 little penelope screws, and that's what Apple calls their little fastener, a penelope. Two of them are longer than the others. And the driver is teeny tiny, if y'all can see that. Okay, we're gonna need the driver to take the screws out. A little teeny pair of needle nose pliers. Some little fine point tweezers. And a spudger, this is, has a little pointed end and a little pry end. And this is to get little cables and little uh, fasteners and whatnot off. I've got assorted bits. I uh, have a newer, a new power battery. This is from MaxSales.com. It fits a lot of different ones. It's 55 watt hour. And uh, because the battery is inside the device. So anyway, we'll uh, pull the camera down here on top so you can see what I'm doing and uh, take this thing apart. Like I'm recording now. Let me open this guy up. Always follow the instructions on all this stuff too. It's so you don't miss or tear something up. Hey, they actually, I hadn't opened the box yet. They actually sent a couple of screwdrivers. Uh, the little uh, penelope. Out of the way. Make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I am. All right, so I got a little thing. I got some the camera fell down again. I got some silica gel. This is the battery. Got one little connector and four little uh, cells. So it came with a Torx T5 and a Penelope T5. So apparently inside of it, there's a Torx T5. All right, so shut down the MacBook Air. 
Disconnect the power adapter and any peripherals. Close the laptop, turn it upside down, and set it on a soft surface. All right, use the pentalobe driver that, replace, that uh, holds the bottom cover in place. Remove the cover set aside. Use the torch drivers to remove the five screws securing the battery. Disconnect the battery and just turn around and redo the steps. All right, we can do that. I've got you pointed at the right place here. That's the Torx. The tip's so small and the screws are so small it's hard to tell. You can see how small it is. Since it's a little tiny screw, make sure I get the right tip. And I'll just uh, speed the footage up, taking all these apart. See, and you can see that's a little teeny screw compared to the other, the other two. Still befuddles me why they put such a tiny little screw in these things. Especially since I have big hands. Alright, I'll need to do some cleanup on this thing too. So the battery hadn't swelled any. That's a good thing. Let me grab something to clean that off with. So we have the, uh, the socketed SSD, this can be changed out, but the memory on this thing can't be. There's some memory chips on it somewhere. Here's the wireless card, here's the processor, processor fan, we'll take some air to it. And if y'all hear a bunch of dogs barking in the background, those are mine. So. So here's the wireless card, processor, graphics, chip, processor fan, and then the battery. So we'll start taking the screws out for the battery. There's five of them. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and unhook the battery first. And Apple always puts these little uh, flaps here. So all you have to do is this right here, and there's the battery. So now we'll take the five screws out. They are teeny as well. I have very big hands, so this is kind of a challenge. I 
and while we're looking at these are the speakers right here this is where it produces all the sound that's why apple has pretty good speakers or pretty good sound quality rather i'm sorry and if y'all hear me breathing hard i've got sinus problems today and so i'm making a little noise can't hardly breathe north georgia pollen All right, let's see if we can get this thing out of here now. Come right out. Dirty. All right, there's the keyboard. Here's the trackpad. So I'm going to stop the video right now. Walk outside with some canned air. Some of this right here. And I'm going to blow this thing out. I'll be right back. And there's the part number on it. 7.6 volt, 55 watt hour. Rechargeable lithium ion battery. Let's see if it fits back in there. And boy, it just, it fits like a glove okay so i'll go ahead and put the five screws back in and then we'll um put the connector back on i was going to put some new thermal paste under the processor but i don't think i will it's it looks pretty good i mean it's it hadn't been running hot or anything I know it's nine years old. And there again, I may I may take it apart and do that. But for this video, I'm just going to replace the battery, and then we'll do a calibration on it. I don't want the video to be 45 minutes, and I know you people don't either. Okay, the three long screws went in there. The two short ones go in the back corner here. all right so as you can see everything's good and clean now we'll go ahead and put the battery connector back in and they they added the little tab for the battery which i'm very thankful for so we can get it in there now Got big hands, this is a challenge. There we go. All right. I will go ahead and put the back cover on this. I'll spare you from watching me do it and because all you have to do is remember put the two longer screws in right here and then the little tiny screws go around the outside perimeter of it so let me do that i need to clean the back cover anyway and uh then hopefully the battery has some charge in it and 
And there's the chime. There's the Apple logo. There we go. Good lordy the icons. Okay. Let's see what time is it is. 10 after 10. It kept the time. Friday, May 8th. Okay. So what we have to do now, let's see what kind of battery charge we got on this thing. Where's the battery icon at? Let me go to System Preferences. Let's go to Energy Saver. And we won't let it go to sleep. Current, so it's current battery charge zero. That's because it doesn't have, uh, it's not calibrated. It does have some charge in it. So we'll go to Power Adapter. That's on there. And that's Battery. We show the battery status. Got all this. Won't let me show the battery status. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the power adapter up. And it's got the MagSafe adapter. Not showing a charge. All right, let me shut it down. It's one of the things in instructions that said shut it down and then we'll get this in by her desktop. Whew. Good. All right, so the instructions say to let it come all the way up to 100% while it's charging. And then you'll unhook the charger and let it come down and you can still use it, just don't put a heavy load on it. And just let it run all the way down to zero till it shuts itself down. It'll shut itself down at pretty much zero. And then you let it sit there for three or four hours, make sure the battery is completely drained out and then you can charge it back up and start using it again. That means the battery management system is calibrated. So, um, so we're going to let it sit here and charge up to 100%. And uh, that'll be the end of this video. Yeah, I'm not recording anymore. So anyway, we'll finish this video up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button down there. and Hit the little bell to be notified when I put a video out. Uh, we got a lot more Mac, Hackintosh, fishing videos coming up. We're going to be doing some fishing. Um, leave me a comment if you if you like it. Keep it clean. And we're going to put an end to this video. Uh, you guys have a great week, great weekend. Hope everybody's doing well, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.